you guys welcome back to my channel or if you are new welcome today is an all matte soft glam makeup tutorial now i've seen this sort of look going around sort of more on instagram i feel like celebrity muas are sort of really into like the matte look at the moment and as someone that loves like shimmery bronzes highlighters a glossy lip like shimmery bronzeness on my eyes as you guys are aware, you might be pleased to know that none of that is included in this video, but this is a look that I've really been loving. Also, if you have oily skin, this video is going to be perfect for you using all matte products. Definitely got a few new products in here as well that you guys might be interested to try, and techniques as well that I find sort of making applying a lot of this matte makeup a little bit more comfortable on the skin. So if you do kind of have more dry skin like me, but like, like the look of this makeup look, I've got a few tips and products in there just that makes it all a little bit more comfortable so I feel like there's something in there for everyone this video is gonna be a voiceover I do like to mix it up with the makeup tutorials and I actually have so much fun doing voiceovers and I like to have fun with it it's not just gonna be me boring talking you through the steps you know me I'm gonna make it fun and there's not like a huge amount of like new products that I'm talking about so I don't really feel like I need to sit here and explain like what I'm doing um and I kind of find it easier to do that over a voiceover sometimes so just mixing it up some people actually prefer voiceovers as well so hope that's okay but yes yeah, so I've done this soft glam matte look I've also gone for a little bit of a different technique on the eye that I've seen going round we've got lots going on in this video that's what I'm trying to say basically so if you want to um see how I got this all matte literally no highlighter whatsoever, I'm like shook. Um, if you wanna see how I got this all matte, soft glam look, and a few techniques and tips thrown in there to make it all a little bit more comfortable on the skin, then please keep watching. Alright, alright, alright. So first things first, we're going to prep our skin. Now as someone with naturally dry skin, I am going to have to go in with a moisture, like a really hydrating moisturiser and the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Cream and also the eye cream is just amazing for me. Just means when I'm wearing sort of like heavy duty matte products on top, my skin underneath remains hydrated and it all just feels a lot more comfortable. Onto the eyes, I'm taking the Natasha Denona Safari Palette and mixing these two shades together. I am aware this palette is quite expensive, but you basically just need an all matte palette with warm tones in it so go ahead and do some research i think um colourpop do some amazing ones so go and check them out they're literally a fraction of the price but just making my way from light to dark we're not actually going to be going too too dark with these eyeshadows um but dark enough that it makes a cut crease because we are going to be cutting the crease but in a little bit of a different way as you will soon see so this thorn shade is the darkest that i'm going to be using and i'm using this on like a smaller precise fluffy brush taking it from inner to outer corner because we're going to be cutting the crease as i just said um so yeah that's kind of like the darkest we're going to be going but just making sure we are blending it all out because we don't want any harsh lines and we want it all to be like seamless honey on that crease so i'm just taking the concealer that i'm going to be wearing on the lid placing it onto my eyes and i'm going to be taking it as you can see just a little bit above where my natural like eye fold is um this is just going to really lift the eyes a really beautiful technique if you've got hooded eyes as well i've just been seeing a lot of um MUA's doing this recently and I just think it op really opens up the eye makes the eyes look a lot bigger um, and I'll, yeah I don't know just a new technique for you guys to try um, and so I'm mixing it up so you can see just a little bit above my natural crease line I'm just going to take the lightest brown shade and place it all over the lid um, you could have definitely gone a little bit lighter with this um, I thought it was a little bit lighter until I put it on and I was like oh and I was kind of stuck but I do love these like camel desert shades I'm just going to be diffusing um, this on on the lid as in with the crease color that we just used that so didn't make sense but you can see what I'm doing so we're just gonna roll with it because I can't stop the voice over here anyway just reiterating a lot of the crease colors so it's still there and highlighting the inner corner and this is another technique as well look so you're just placing it on the inner corner but then also following that crease line and just taking it up along our crease this is going to really help to open up the eye help brighten the eye again this is what the technique that i've seen a lot of the muas do it's just so subtle and just makes your eye look a lot bigger and brighter so i'm obsessed anyway we can now move on to a liner i'm going to be taking a pencil this is mac costa riche literally my favorite brown pencil i just think using a pencil is so easy so quick and so easy to smudge which is what we're going to be doing um but you can still get some really like 
uh, precise lines and like you can get some precision with a pencil as long as it's sharp enough as you can see it's still like a super sharp wing but I'm just going to be taking the dark brown shade from the palette and just going back and forth not up and down back and forth because we're going to be smudging it I don't want to like completely smoke it out just diffusing the line slightly so it just looks smoky and sultry just cleaning up underneath with a wipe you guys know the drill and then we can move on to lashes these are the Huda hoodie lashes which i'm obsessed with they literally look like lash extensions one of my favorite lash styles ever because the lash band is super thin and clear as well but that's basically the eyes done oily skin folks take note you have to get this this is the new urban decay all nighter primer absolutely amazing literally when i put my makeup on top it does not move it doesn't move i'm obsessed and for foundation we are mixing two today we are mixing the fenty pro filter and the huda faux filter foundation um i love them both but i'm kind of mixing them together for color purposes rather than um finish purposes they're both full coverage and matte but the fenty is a little bit too yellow and the huda is a little bit too like orange on its own so i just like to mix them together again this is a new product this is from hourglass their vanish uh concealer this is amazing i kind of went a little bit too heavy a little goes a long way with this and the color was a little bit too light um but you can see the coverage is just beautiful and a little technique when using like a full full coverage concealer i like to buff it out underneath my eyes with a brush um, that way it just kind of makes it a little bit thinner up there and yeah it just avoids creasing and yeah buffing technique is really good for that another technique this is the powder this is the huda easy bake powder i'm applying this with a damp sponge this makes all the difference it really sets everything in place but really adds just like a last minute little bit of moisture into the skin so all of this doesn't feel too like drying and cakey and just like feeling really heavy on the skin this really helps to make it feel super comfortable and like look my skin is just full coverage and beat honey but now you can just move on to the brows there's no mattifying products for brows um just a bit of pencil and brow set but um yeah just dusting the excess powder off and just finishing off the eyes this is the bronzer we're going to be using this is the hula bronzer in caramel and i'm just buffing that underneath the eyes then i'm going to apply the mac costa riche in the waterline just to finish it all off and tie it in together and these are the finished eyes so we can continue on with the skin going in with the hula bronzer again this is just going to be the bronzer that we're using to kind of warm up the skin we are going to reiterate um a bit more of a contour in a minute but i just love the kind of like olivey warmness of this bronzer making sure to contour our schnozzle as well um but yeah as for contour i'm using the dull beauty bronzer in dark you can see just kind of placing that right underneath my cheekbones to really emphasize that contour yes honey and now for blush this is going to be the final skin step so i'm mixing these two shades together from the um anastasia beverly hills blush trio this just kind of acts almost like as the highlight i'm obsessed with the way that this looks honestly it just looks beautiful i just kind of like dust it everywhere um and i love those tones as well now onto the lip can't remember the two colors of this i'll leave them down below but this is the morphe love by lip pencil but then this really just makes everything super comfortable and not too heavy on the skin can't do a look without it it is the hyaluronic fix spray from uh revolution and this as well oily skin folks the ultra matte all nighter spray from urban decay you have to get this this makes such a difference final final step Bob's your uncle, we've got a flawless matte skin look and it's not going anywhere. So this was the finished look you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, maybe a couple of new sort of like mattifying products or tips, stuff like that in this video, so if you do have oily skin I really hope you found this helpful, as someone that doesn't have oily skin I've also added a few helpful tips in there to make sure that your skin doesn't feel too caked or dried out, so yeah I really hope you guys found this um insightful i know it's not obviously a super super creative look but like i said this is just a really easy go-to look that i know is going to last all day i'm actually really loving the kind of matte look as well if you're on the go throughout the day you might find that you get like a natural kind of highlight going on and i just find without all the like extra glowy dewy steps it's super quick and easy to do i hope you can take something from this video and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and make sure you subscribe before you leave and join the family Malloy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys! Whoa.